Good afternoon YouTube. Kernicus Rex, Kevin here, coming to you from uh, Cornwall on the southwest tip of England. I had planned a slightly more adventurous posting today about the weather. Well, it's not wet, but it's not bright. It's kind of dank and damp outside and It looks set to stay that way. That said, I did uh, manage a quick stroll earlier in the day and uh, shot a couple of minutes of video. So my next task is to uh, try and work out how the video editor works and splice these two together. Um, hopefully posting the results a little bit later. Today is a day of enjoying the bounty of Christmas. I'm drinking uh, coffee, given to my son, blended and roasted locally. I'm smoking my newly acquired 70320 given to me by my wife. And in it, I am smoking some Caps Union Terminal, graciously given to me by uh, David Burnyman Forty. On top of that, I am filming this on my uh, new camera, given to me by my wife and my son jointly. And although you can't see it, I am wearing jeans and socks that were also Christmas gifts. I've, uh, I've been trying to catch up on a number of videos over the last day or two and um, there seems to be a, a couple of recurring themes um, the ever-present quest for simplicity and renewal as evidenced by the likes of uh, Bama Piper and a very interesting experiment that Wisdom Junkie is undertaking. He's trying to not exactly do away with technology, but certainly minimise the use of technology. Um, if you uh, are not subscribed to either of those two gentlemen, then um, I would strongly suggest that you you, uh, you go and check out their channels, because the trials and tribulations of Barra Piper are... carefully and thoughtfully presented and the uh, apparent frustrations of being comparatively technology free are already starting to get to the wisdom junkie only three days in uh, <clears throat> so much so that he's brought out the big guns now he's, uh, he's told his good lady wife what he's doing and she is helping to enforce his rules. For myself, I know that if there's something I ever truly want to achieve or truly want to try for, if I tell my wife what my aims or goals are, I find that she's often stood behind me with a whip or a shotgun or a large heavy club to make sure that I achieve those aims and goals. So in the interest of a peaceful life, I tend not to tell her, but she's very useful when I do. When I need help, she makes sure I get her. And the other theme, of course, at this time of year is the um, resolution question. Bama Piper is always already explaining that he uh, doesn't bother with short-term resolutions more um, looks to longer term plans for a year or five years at a time. I 
I admire his tenacity. And the present goal he has of um, significantly cutting down the size of his home. He's planning to halve the size of his home and uh, in so doing disacquire a number of items. It's something that uh, we did 17 and a half years ago when we moved into the cottage here. We moved from a huge townhouse into this little uh, cottage which is probably less than half the size of the townhouse, if not more. At least on the inside we have a, a larger garden and um, much more space and time. Um, we do live a much simpler life. We, we don't have central heating of any sort, for instance, which uh, terrifies some of my friends. We rely heavily on a, a wood burner that we need to feed constantly. and. Um, We rely on a little bit of planning. Um, we do have a, a couple of shops a mile or two away, but uh, other than that it's a 15 to 20 mile round trip to the nearest uh, big stores and if we want to go into do serious shopping we're talking about a 50 to 60 mile round trip as a minimum. Also got the joys of the commute. My commute's uh, significantly reduced this year. Um, I do maybe a 35-40 minute commute. It's quite gentle. It's across county. Don't hit major traffic. So to me, it's a lot easier than the hour and 15 minutes I was doing previously. That's each way. I know in this country and I'm sure in America that a lot of people spend an hour or two going to and fro work every day and I found that mind numbing. Um, so the simpler life suits us. There are a few things that uh, we'll have to be prepared to change as we get older. The paths outside are cobbles which aren't good for people who aren't steady on their feet, so if I get old enough up here then I'll have to flatten those out a little bit. Um, and we may have to go for some extra form of heating when uh, I'm less inclined to haul burning materials in and out of the house. But overall, it's a commendable way of living. When you have less, you have less to worry about. You have less to fix, less to maintain. And you can get on with some of the more important things of life. We spend a lot of time together as a family. We read, listen to music watch YouTube videos. Well, I do. And I have to confess I don't think I'd be inclined to swap back to get the conveniences of the town compared to the peace and tranquility of living where we live. We do get traffic outside the house occasionally uh, but the road doesn't go anywhere, it goes to the farm at the top of the hill uh, and that's it. So traffic consists of people who live here, a bit of farm traffic and occasional walkers who park at the top of the hill to go across the moors. So as far as simplicity is concerned, all I really want to do is maintain what I've got, maintain the simplicity. Um, sometimes a little bit of extra space might not go amiss because like everybody else we do acquire um, and our little house is uh, busy to say the least and it's been many years since I've um, chased the 
annual resolution bug. Oh uh, yeah. I work on a a generic. Let's do the best we can. Let's be the best we can. Type of um, philosophy. Uh, and by the best we can, be the best we can. I don't mean chasing after pounds, looking for promotions. Uh, I mean living life, enjoying life, enjoying the simple pleasures we have around us. And um, by and large, I think we achieved that. 2014 was certainly a fantastic year for me and my immediate family. Um, it started with me losing my job at the beginning of the year and uh, finding my current role, which, as I said, is a lot closer, a lot less stressful. And um, I'm working alongside better quality people, um, much more pleasant people. And uh, you get to a point in life when you realise that those things matter more than having lots of extra cash in the bank and being able to afford shiny things on a regular basis. So I, will, I wish uh, Eric and his family, I'm a piper, all the best. I hope that they uh, find what they're looking for in the new home and that they'll be very happy there. Indeed, I wish all of you all the best for the coming year and every year beyond. I'll be watching carefully to see how the Wisdom Junkie manages his experiment. It's a little annoying that he's decided to switch off now because I've got a few questions about recent videos of his which I'll have to try and remember for when he's back in the world. That said, I was listening to one of his experimental project videos and I was amazed at the amount of social media in which he engages. I'm not surprised he was finding it a little bit overwhelming. I do have a Facebook account, but I visit rarely, and um, it's primarily to give me access to one particular UK pipe and tobacco group, which I've only recently joined. I don't do Twitter and Instagram. I've also heard people mention Voxer and Fiverr, I've never even seen those. Uh, so this is it really for me. Um, YouTube is the only social media I engage in. And I find it time consuming enough. I find it difficult enough to keep pace with the videos that uh, you out there post. I find it difficult to keep pace with the new members of the community that come on board. I'm often very late finding new members as they come on. I rely very heavily on people I subscribe to mentioning them and um, I can have a look. Sometimes I'm fortunate enough for them to find me first. Hmm. And that said, I noticed that somehow my subscriber numbers have crept past the 100 mark. Um, I gather that there's a tradition of contests or similar at that milestone. Well, I confess I've got no plans for a contest at this point in time, partly because I can't think of a reasonable contest to put on and partly because I'm not sure I could afford a reasonable prize package at this point in time. So I might let it go to 125, 150, and then do something later in the year. My subscribe numbers have uh, crept quietly up. Um, 
I'm grateful for the subscribers. I'm very um, surprised that so many people find my musings and occasional rantings to be sufficiently interesting to want to follow me. But uh, I suppose we are an eclectic mix, are we not? We have everything out there from the likes of uh, Danny Shaw and his workshop, uh, the Holy Smoking Pipe Padre, who I see is packing himself, ready for a move to a new parish. Matches, H60, and then, of course, the man in the cupboard, Wardog 418. Uh, I feel certain that if we added some dark rim glasses to that young man, he could pass a Harry Potter. But anyway, this was just supposed to be a quick little video to uh, introduce my first attempt at Kernicus Rex in the wild, which will hopefully tag on to the end of this, uh, and give me something to play with the video editing software that I've downloaded. doesn't seem to be an awful lot of video editing software for Android. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. doesn't help that I've never used video editing software before. Um, so that might take a little bit of manipulation. However, for those of you that uh, watch this video, um, I hope it doesn't turn out too badly. And um, if any of you have got any hints or tips for video editing in the future, uh, I'd be pleased to hear from you. So thanks for listening, boys and girls. I hope you're having a great Sunday. And I hope that 2015 brings you and yours all that you would wish for. And stay happy. Good day to you, YouTube. Kind of scrags. That is to say, Kernicus at Rex, Kevin, in a little bit of wild. Uh, my 2015 has started in the same way as 2014 ended, which is with uh, small car problems. It's time for my car. Well, it's not too serious, but I don't want to drive too far until I get it to a repair shop, so uh, I've walked up the hill from where I live which is still pretty wild well, I'll show you the view in a minute I'm smoking my uh, best British priors uh, with some Dunhill 965 let's see if I can show you the view That in the distance is sharp to itself, after which the area is, uh, is named, and then over there, a long way over there, just on the horizon, you can see the moors of Devon, and you may be able to make out a little monument on top of that hill. That's Kit Hill. Oops, I've lost it. There she blows. The weather's not great today. And then down there in the valley is where the few of us that live up here live. I said the valley. It's not much of a valley. There's a, a larger settlement down the bottom there. and everything else is several miles away see all the, uh, all the brackens turned a deadly shade of brown there's nothing on the trees 
a few berries left on that one. In fact, pardon me for taking my mind off the camera then. There should be northern mountain berries for the time of year. Looks like there's going to be a bit of a mist rolling in. Not much of the way our livestock are in. A few blackbirds, a few sheep and cattle on the far side of the wrong way. But not much else. A bit of gunfire in the distance. We've got some uh, shooting grounds a few miles that away. Well that's it for now people, people. This is uh, home for me. I shall probably uh, add to this video when I get back to the house um, and see if I can't splice them together in some fashion using as yet unfound skills. But uh, yep, this is, this is pretty much where I live. Speak soon.